Hello and welcome to Bristol Reptile Emporium's YouTube channel. I'm Gail and I'm Michelle and today we are going to talk about these Exoterra gecko caves. So first of all Michelle, what are they? So they're basically a hide. Just, all right, just a hide. <laughs> <laughs> basically, yeah, they're a hide, but they have a slight difference to some of the hides on the market. They have two components, so you have a top and a bottom. Oh, okay, and um, what are they used for? Um, so they're used as damp hides, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got two different sizes. I've got the large one in my hands, and Gail has the medium size, obviously, in the packaging, so that you can see what it would look like in store if you were to go to the oh. shop. Mm -hmm. um, and they are used to contain moss. Excuse me, well, I knew how I shot. <laughs> so this is sphagnum moss. Um, and basically, the purpose of them is to have a area where you can put damp, substrate mm -hmm. in this case we generally use moss but mm -hmm. customers right. may use um, cocoa fiber and things like that and with the false bottom it means that you can pop this in there keep it hydrated and what doesn't happen is you don't soak the rest of your substrate which is within your enclosure oh very good and uh, what uh, animals or species can we use this for so we can use this for i know it says gecko cave on the on the uh, box which is a little bit misleading and uh, you can use it for loads of different species of geckos so things like leopard geckos fat-tailed geckos, even things like some of the wonder geckos and things like that, absolutely fine. But we can also use it for some of the smaller um, snake species and juvenile snakes as well. So um, in regards to the large size, you could get a juvenile royal to fit into that size hide. Nice. And the corn snakes as juveniles would fit in there nice and comfortably as well. So they're a good size for juvenile animals to provide a damp or moist hide. Uh, why do we use the, the sphagnum moss? What's the purpose of it? As I say, it doesn't have to be sphagnum moss. It can be any substrate that retains moisture. Sphagnum moss is good because it works kind of like a sponge. So it's really absorbent and we can rehydrate it if it dries out. Uh, most people tend to um, throw it away if the animal class is waste into it. But otherwise, they'll just keep hydrating it and they can use it for a long period of time without too much of a problem. Okay, and why, what is it used for? What, why does the animal go in and use it? So with a lot of animals, what they would do in the wild is they position themselves in different areas when they've got their body process, different body processes going on and also at different times of the day as well. So um, animals naturally will use hides when they're in their rest period um, and obviously depending on the species that will vary when that rest period is. And sometimes those hides would be underground and that would have a higher level of humidity than if they were sat above ground and this sort of mimics that so it's quite natural and it means that if they're in shed it helps with um, the shed process and it means it's less you're less likely to get retained shed when the animal is going through this process if it has access to a damp hide thank you for watching bristol reptile emporium's youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you next week for another video bye bye